So I noticed that YouTube is lacking on a starter removal technique for uh, first generation Dodge Neon. So I'm going to run through this really quick. Uh, the first thing you do is you remove your battery and the battery housing, which is right here. You've got bolts here, uh, there's one here, and uh, there's a couple that can only be accessed uh, on the underside, and that's here and there also. Okay, so battery box is out, you come back up, you take out each one of these fans here. Not hard. One, two, three, four. Um, there are uh, connects for the electronics, simple enough to just unplug them. Um, okay. Once those are out, you don't even need to remove your radiator. A lot of how-tos online will recommend you remove your radiator hose. Not necessary. Uh, the only thing that's left is to remove a couple of wires from the solenoid, which is, let me show you that. This is what you'll see sticking out. This is kind of housed underneath the engine. Uh, you'll remove these two screws to pull off the, uh, the wires that mount to the solenoid. And uh, the hardest part is accessing not this screw here, but this one. I'll point out where the harder screw is. Right down there, right down there, you can see that's where the starter actually goes into the engine. This screw, uh, you'll, you'll be able to actually reach under and feel it with your finger. It's a 15 millimeter. Um, I got to mine without even getting under the car. I had an extension on the wrench and got it out no problem. The other bolt is right here. The whole reason we removed the battery housing. So after those two bolts are removed, um, and all the electronics are, uh, are, are, are uh, unplugged, all the wires are, are uh, unattached from the starter, you're good to go. Swap your new one in, undo what you did, and you're good to go.